Well, hi there, food friends. It's Kevin. Hey, Kevin. And I'm Ralph, behind the camera. And welcome to Cavalcade of Food. Ralph, today we're doing mashed potato patties. Ooh, doesn't that sound good? Well, you know, anything potato is good in our book. But, you know, we're just kind of coming out of the holiday season. Happy New Year to everybody, by the way. Happy New Year. And, um, you know, we've made uh, a lot of big meals, which have been great. Uh, but it also meant that we have had a lot of leftovers. And so it's always, okay, um, we like leftovers. And it's like we had a couple meals twice or even two and a half times. But, um, you know, what do you do with all this stuff? So Waste not, want not. Exactly right. Waste not, want not. And so what we're going to do is um, we're going to put um, take our mashed potatoes that we had left over from dinner the other night. Now, Ralph, I've got about, mm, let's call it two and a half cups of mashed potatoes there. Okay. okay? Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to to those two, let me get a spatula, to these mashed potatoes, let them come up to room temperature. You don't want them ice cold like right out of the fridge, okay? So let them warm up a little bit. We're going to put in one egg. Whole egg, yolk, one and everything. Whole, the whole schmear here. And kind of let that serve as a binder. So let's get that egg mixed in first. Uh, and that will also kind of help these potatoes. Well, one, it will rich them up a little bit, and it will help them kind of puff up. Um, I don't know how, you know, everyone makes their mashed potatoes differently. So when I made these mashed potatoes, I put in there a lot of butter and some buttermilk, as a matter of fact, that I had. Um, and so you might use butter too, and or cream and cream, uh, or milk, salt and pepper. So some people put things in their mashed potatoes like garlic or horseradish. But these are just nice creamy mashed potatoes. Now, to this, Ralph, if the mashed potatoes seem a little thin, because the egg is sort of you know is going to water it down a little bit, then what you can do is put a little flour in there if you wanted to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I got my little flour sifter there. I'm gonna put about a, oh, maybe a tablespoon of flour and see if that'll kind of thicken it up a little bit. So how much flour would you say you did? On those? I just put in a tablespoon. I'm gonna put in a little yeah. bit more. So it's really a feel thing, well, just go by. Yeah, two tablespoons. And uh, again, it was roughly two and a half cups of okay. mashed potatoes. I mean, mashed potatoes. <laughs> so, you know, you just don't want them runny. Uh, and, yeah. and once you put the egg in, you know, you're kind of adding sort of this liquid into them. Now, what to put in them? Well, that's up to you. What else you got left over or in the fridge? Now, what I'm going to do... Onions. We always love these sautéed, these onions that have been sautéed in butter. And mm. so we're going to put some of those in. Smells like home. Um, I don't think uh, anybody would mind a little cheese. Yeah. So I've got a little cheese blend here yeah. that I'm going to put in. So One of my New Year's resolutions is to eat more cheese. We'll eat more cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I'm going to put in a little black pepper. Um, I think the potatoes were salty enough, and I'm going to put in a pinch of cayenne pepper. Okay, and let's mix all that up. Oh, yeah. Smells good. So then these are going to be, um, not to jump ahead too much, but are they going to be fried, or how do you... We're going to pan fry these. So I'm, I'm warming up my skillet. Let's put in a couple knobs of of butter here. One knob, two knobs. And I'm going to mix the butter with maybe just a splash of olive oil. Oh yeah, I know why you do that. Well, yes, because it 
B butter burns quicker than olive oil, and olive oil has a, what do you call it, a smoke point? That's High a, smoke point. So then okay, the... Wrap around there. So then the, when you mix the two, plus it creates a nice flavor, but it, it means you won't be taking a chance of uh, burning as quickly uh, if you were to just use butter. So the olive oil helps in that regard. That's absolutely right. And, Ralph, just so that you know, I'm using the same uh, skillet that I fried the onions in. So... Any residue flavor goodness is going to be there anyway. I knew there, you could, when I put that butter in, I could almost smell the onions mm. a little bit yeah. that were still in the skillet from yeah. when I sauteed them. So now we're just going to get that all melted get in. Get that all melted. Then we're going to come over here. And you can make these any size that you want. These are great, of course, at breakfast. Um, they are great at uh, brunch. I'd say so, they're great at dinner. I'd say they're great as a midnight snack. So I guess you're saying they're good all day long. They are. <laughs> all, they are. There's no bad time to have these. So you just want to make sure, as Kevin is showing, that the mixture is combined well in the pan before. So that, you know, each 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 uh, mashed potato patty has a the, the equivalent on, in each one. So. Each bite will have a little something, and none will be lacking. So now I'm just, I'm just patting them down, Ralph. Because these uh, are patties, after all, not balls. Well, exactly. They're not big potato lumps. They're supposed to be patties. So you could do this, um, you with, know, with your spatula. Yeah, just like that. That's all. And again, I'm making them this size. They're almost the size of a little of a, of a burger, exactly. Uh, but you could make them a little smaller. Probably wouldn't want to make them too much bigger, or if you, because then they become hard to flip. Right. You know, if you had a very big spatula. But you know, now that I'm thinking about it, you could make one like this size and then put something on top of it. Mm. You know, make it more like a sandwich. Yeah. Or I mean, I'm thinking of you know, oh. you could put like a a goulash or some oh. other kind of dish. Use it as sort as of like a one foundation. Big, like a giant pancake. You know, almost an upside down shepherd's pie, right? Put the potatoes on the bottom mm -hmm. uh, and then that. So, you know what? We're going to let that saute. You're going to bring, bring it up a touch? Yeah, I've got, I'm over, we're over medium high heat. And um, we'll come on back. We are making mashed potato patties. Coming along. They are coming along. They are smelling good. Let's let's flip. Oh, <laughs> that's what you want. You want a little bit of a crust on there because you want to. I'm going to make sure there's some butter when I flip it. And uh, you know, you really want it to to have a crunch. Mm -hmm. But yet, we want to keep the inside kind of tender and pillowy and soft. But, but because there's a raw egg involved, you want to make sure it's thoroughly cooked. That's so correct. It's more important to get a, a long, a good long cook on it than it is to do a quick sear. And um, so again, I'm you doing a medium high heat. These have been on for, what would you say, Ralph, about four minutes? Four minutes, so. So, you know, four or five minutes Check aside. them after three, maybe, see how they're, how you're doing, because the heat will vary. But, there. Um, yeah, they look real fluffy, don't they? And that's part of a, that. That's part of what the egg is doing. That's part of its job here. But you know, you're smelling. Uh, oh, you're getting the onion. Uh, you're getting, of course, the butter um, in the skillet. The potato. The potato. The cheese. Now, what kind of cheese did you use again? I had a cheese blend. It, it's cheddar and. Cheddar Jack. Okay. Okay. But use whatever. Any, you know, you could put a Parmesan in here would be delicious. Uh, Greer, um, a, any, you know, any kind of a cheddar a good cheese. good melting a cheese. Colby cheese. Anything would be good. Whatever you have on hand. It's just what, what I happen to have in the fridge. So that's what we're doing. Um, and then again, if you want a certain, you know, you can do these in advance and you can keep them warm in the oven. Uh, so if, say, you're doing your brunch or whatever, but you know, how good how good would this be, Ralph, with a fried egg on it? 
that would okay, be okay. There you go. A nice breakfast. Yeah. And how how good would it be with like um, I don't know, some kind of something sweet, almost like a cranberry topping, or if you had any leftover cranberry cranberry sauce, sauce right? Yeah. You know, and again, we didn't have any because we rarely ever have <laughs> any leftover um, meats. But like, you could crumble some bacon in here. You could cut up some sausage. breakfast sausage in here. How about a little leftover? ham would be nice. Yeah. How about leftover turkey? Would that work? Or maybe sure. A okay. So because you know, if you're having mashed potatoes, you might have had a turkey dinner, or like ham we or did. Anything. But, or ham but get or, creative. Yeah. yeah. Kevin's saying basically these are blank artist canvases to do with what you will. We happen to keep it pretty simple with fried onions and cheese and egg and flour and some S and P and butter. And again, you know, uh, you might have more or less um, leftover mashed potatoes as long as you have a couple of cups. That's that would be the minimum amount I would mm -hmm. say. But if you have two, three, four cups, you can do this. Just vary the uh, amount of flour. Again, you want a nice, you want a stiff enough consistency so that you know they'll hold their shape. This would give me a reason to make even more mashed potatoes for dinner so I have some left over. <laughs> I like the way you think. Okay, we'll uh, come back and give these a try. Looks like you're getting the, the next batch. I am. I just took the first batch out. So we're going to get... Um, another three? Another three. Probably could have got another four. Could have got eight out of this. But we like the, the size we're working with here. And let me just get, we don't want any of this to go, to go unused. All right. Again, we'll pat down. I put a little bit more butter and another splash of olive oil in the pan because they do absorb as they fry. And that's what browns them. Yep, and that's what gives it the beautiful color. Okay, so we'll let those do their thing now. I put one here to try, Ralph, and, you know, uh, had some sour cream in the fridge, and you could, you could eat it plain, you could put a little bit of sour cream on the top. Like a traditional potato pancake, you could put uh, applesauce. Applesauce, why not? And, of course, you know, sour cream is a natural with potatoes. And with the Polish folk. And, um, yeah, so look here. Does it look, it um, tastes cooked enough mm. inside? You know what it tastes like? Heaven? The inside of a potato pierogi. Oh, yeah. It's like a, Cause of the butter. a naked pierogi without its wrapping. It's um, ah. because we've got the cheese. You've got the onion, the sautéed oh, onion, right. yeah, you got and, it all. and then of course with the sour cream, which of course we always use when we have pierogi. Well, you could just call this an inside-out pierogi. Oh. Mm -hmm. Look yeah. out! Keep an eye on your. I'm eating. I'm I'm watching them. Um, you want to try this now or later? Um, yeah, let me get a you wanna, full. Here, I'll hold Sorry. it. Sorry, okay. that's all right. Yeah, get some of that sour cream on there, Ralph. Is it real hot? Uh, it's warm, but it's not. It won't burn. You'll be all right. Mmm, mmm. Yeah, How first good thing, is that? First thing gets almost that. That cheese gets a little bit of a crunch, and anytime you cook or bake cheese, you know it takes on a whole deeper flavor. Mm -hmm. And then you got the onions and the potatoes, and yeah, it does taste like the filling of a pierogi. Yeah, delicious. And again, you know, mashed, Easy. what do you do? Yesterday's mashed potatoes seem pretty cold and unappetizing on their own. But look so what you can do to make them warm and inviting. Transform them into these beautiful mashed potato patties. Again, be creative. Chives, scallions. Um, cut up bacon, cut ham. Cut up bacon, ham. Like, uh, you know, I mean, it's endless. Uh, if you had some sautéed... Mushrooms would be delicious in here. Mushrooms, yeah. Um, and, you know, for people who um, are vegetarian, here you go. 
Uh, you could really make a meal out of these. Just sure. delicious, like you suggested, Ralph, with the applesauce. Um, and again, sour cream, and you're good to go. So, we're going to keep cooking, and we're going to keep eating. And you know what? Uh, we want to wish you all the very best for the new year. And we look forward to uh, you joining us here on Cavalcade of Food in 2021 with a lot more videos coming. Nothing but health and blessings and prosperity do we wish upon you, our friends. Absolutely. Good health to all of you and to all of us. And we'll see you again real soon right here on Cavalcade of Food. Bye, everybody.